Hey, Vinyl Community. Um, I just realized today's the 15th of January, and it's the deadline for Lazarus' 300 sub contest, and I have yet to do my entry. So, I'm going to quickly do it now, um, and let me get started quickly. i got I got to remember the questions in order here. Um, I'm not going to explain the music in the background yet until the end of this video. Uh, but, hold on a second here. Give me just a quick second. All right, uh, the first one is show me the one album that is your favorite album that you discovered through the VC. Um, I'll do one better. Um, I discovered a genre on the VC, uh, jazz. Uh, I've always been a strictly metal, hard rock, um, blues, uh, but never really got into jazz much at all. Um, so, I mean, I've seen so many videos uh, out there with jazz records. So. Um, I, I really discovered the, the genre of jazz. I really gave it a chance after watching some videos. So, uh, better than one album, I discovered, like I said, a whole style of music. And I, this is what this is my quick jazz collection. I mean, I won't bore you with it all, but you know, Louis Armstrong, um, some Ray, some Ray Charles, uh, Duke Ellington. I'm going through here fast. Woody Herman, Thelonious Monk. I love, this is probably my favorite guy I've discovered so far, Stan Getz, I have a lot of his stuff here, um, another Stan Getz, David Sanborn, uh, Dave Brubeck, um, you know, I wanted to get some stuff that wasn't Coltrane, you know, uh, you know, there were so many good things, uh, George Shearing Quintet, you know, stuff like that, so, uh, more Thelonious Monk, Duke Ellington, uh, more Dave Brubeck, so, uh, some really cool jazz stuff that I've picked up that I really, 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 really like. So, thanks to the VC, he kind of turned a metalhead into some jazz. Uh, next question was, what's the album that you have yet to own but desire most that has been shown by another VC member? Now, I don't know if this guy's a VC member or not, but uh, there is a user out there, Danny Vayner, and... Uh, and I don't have this yet, and it's the new Megadeth album, 13, uh, on colored vinyl, on, on almost like a picture disc. And I have found um, on a website, but it's sold out every time I go to get it. And my daughter wanted to get it for me for Christmas, and it's been sold out since November. Um, that they have the, uh, the, the the picture disc and the CD and a digital album, digital download album, uh, available as a bundle. And I think it's like 30 bucks or 40 bucks or something, and it's just not available. So I'm holding out to get it till I can get my hands on that. And I could go out to Walmart and buy the CD, you know, but I don't want to. I want to wait till I get my hands on that vinyl. And I you shouldn't covet things, but I, I covet that album. I want to get my hands on that colored vinyl, that picture disc. So question number two answered. Um, and last but not least, Dwayne asked, Show me one album that you would recommend to me, and why, that you have not shown on the VC before. And that, uh, I recommend, because I actually thought this was the band in the background of your video, Dwayne. Uh, it ends up being Loudness, uh, that you were playing in the background, but I thought for sure that it was probably an album, or, uh, uh, yeah, an album by Hellion, the band Hellion. That I just didn't have yet, or you know, and here it ended up being uh, Loudness's first album, and you can kind of see how the, you know, the vocals of the of the Asian the singing in uh, in Loudness could kind of be uh, mistaken over the camera for Amboyan, the female vocalist in Hellion. Uh, Chet Thompson, the guitar player in this band, is just phenomenal, and this is a great album. This this is the album that turned me on to Hellion. Um, I'll take it out of this plastic here, you can see, so it doesn't shine too much. Uh, screams in the night. Maybe you already have this, I don't know. And if you do already have it, then I got one more to show you. But, uh, and anyway, I mean, there's an the inner sleeve for it. But, I mean, that is uh, Chet Thompson in the background. It's, the whole album is really good. Um, it's not thrash, it's just good hard metal, and Amboyan's voice is just really incredibly cool. So my record that I recommend for you, Dwayne, being a fellow metalhead, is Hellion Screams in the Night. If you go, oh, John, I already have that record, um, never fear, all metalheads have a backup plan, then I suggest Stone Fury, uh, Burns Like a Star. 
Uh, this is another great album, Dwayne. Um, uh, Lenny Wolf, Kingdom Come, you know, the band Kingdom Come. Lenny Wolf, their singers. This is just a fantastic album. So, uh, either one of those, Hellion or Stone Fury. And if you have both those, Dwayne, then I guess you're out of luck, buddy, with my suggestions. Anyway, so there's my sub uh, contest. It's still the 15th. I'm going to get this uploaded and sent to you, Dwayne. And uh, thanks for doing the contest, and congratulations. I don't even know. You probably have 800 subscribers by now. So take care, buddy, and see you all in the VC.